There's been some uh, paint peeling issues on the the Boeing 787. Yeah, um, and some implications with uh, with fall arrest protection systems. So, tell us a little bit about that. So the FAA put out a safety notice essentially about a week ago. Uh, on the 787, when you're working on top of the wing, they have these suction cups, and they have on a, a lot of different aircraft. It's not specific to the 787, but you have these essentially suction cup devices. You suction cup onto the wing, you clip into it, so you're harnessed mm-hmm. in. So if you slipped, it would catch you, and you wouldn't fall to the ground because the wing's pretty high. Um, and you, you would get hurt if you fell off that wing. So they had this suction cup device that they were grabbing onto and, latch, and latching their harnessing into, and the suction cup devices were pulling the paint off the... The Yikes. wing skin, right? So the so the so the arrest the the fall pre- prevention device isn't sticking to the wing, and I'm sure it raised a lot of eyebrows. Like, why is the paint coming off this relatively new airplane? What's up with that, right? Um, and the safety bulletin goes on to note that they did uh, some research into it, looking at what was causing the paint to to lift off, and they realized that the there's some level of UV degradation between the primer system so the, it, and, the, and the composite structure. So the composite structure comes out of the tool and it's carbon fiber and it's got resin system on it. Uh, typically, they, they kind of scuff that up a little bit and then they apply a primer onto it and that primer bonds onto that resin-rich surface. Then you start putting uh, layers of paint on it and you get to the top coat and that sticks on last, right? So mm-hmm. uh, they had some sort of UV degradation going on which decreased the adhesion of the primer to the composite skin. Well, heck, uh, that's really hard to pick up once the airplane's painted. It'd be very hard to, to notice where that was. So you're going to have to find out the hard way uh, until the aircraft gets repainted. Uh, and one of my colleagues saw that notice and commented, uh, how did they get that much UV damage on the wing skin unless it was just happened to be just sitting out in the sunshine for quite a while, and it didn't get properly um, prepared before they put primer on. Oh, there's just some weird, weird um, UV thing where, as the aircraft mm-hmm. is primed, and a lot of times they sit out on the on the ramp primed, uh, was the UV light affecting the primer to the composite structure while it sat outside waiting to get top coat on it? Uh, that's a good question. It didn't really say that in the safety briefing, briefing but uh, you know, all these things revolve around at one point or another, they revolve around lightning protection. Right, so um, it, it it if you have a composite structure in a wing with fuel in it, like seventy seven does, there's lightning protection in there. Is there something about the lightning protection system that's affecting that also? That's the question mark. And in my head, is like, ooh, I wonder if it's something about the way the the lightning protection system on that aircraft is affecting the paint adhesion. But it's something to watch out for. And I, and I, I know everybody that makes a composite structure right now, particularly a wing, is I'm sure thinking about do we have a, a same issue that Boeing does like in the A350 or A3D? Do we have a similar issue? Don't know, but the industry is going to go look. Yeah. Well, if they hadn't figured this out from, from the suction cups, would the paint have started peeling like during flight? Like how, what are the, what were the implications? It seems like they're just saying, stop, stop putting the suction cups on them. Yeah. But it, otherwise it's probably okay. It's, it's what it yeah. Well, like. There's all different levels of adhesion, right? It's like uh, different levels of masking taper. So you can get, yeah. uh, Cheap scotch tape, you can get to masking tape, and then you get to what we call in the States duct tape or the brand name where everybody's right now is Gorilla Tape, right? All the commercials are Gorilla Tape, which is super sticky. It is. Paint's just like that. Some of it sticks lightly. Some of it sticks moderately well. Some of it really sticks, and it's impossible to get off, right? Uh, So I don't think – I haven't seen – Photographs of 787s with paint issues on the wing doesn't mean they don't exist. But I and I do look around on. There's a lot of photos taken of airplanes, obviously. So you would show up pretty easily. I think somebody would notice it. So mm-hmm. it must be the paint adheres enough that it's sticking in flight. But if you if put suction James cups Bond, on it, you can't scale it. Yeah. Yeah, you put suction cups on it. You put a 300 pound person on it and pull. It may not stick. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah and especially if you're, say, sliding off the plane oh. and then it catches, that's yeah. way more than 300 pounds of force. That's probably a couple thousand pounds of force just yeah. being shocked. Impulse right force, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, just and like it's just those, pulling uh, pulling right on it, yeah. 